Good morning, Central, and welcome to Monday. I'm Jalen. And I'm Daisha. Hope everyone stayed dry this weekend. It was a great weekend to sleep late and lounge around. I know, right? I definitely got caught up on my sleep. Well, I think today is another rainy day. What can you tell us, Caitlin and Bailey? Good morning, Central. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Bailey, and we have your weather for today. Today we will have a high of 67 and a low of 56. With rain for the past few days, hopefully we won't get any today with a 25% chance of rain. That's it for weather. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks. How about lunch? What have we got? Hi, Central. Today for lunch, we'll be having a choice of both our Italian subs and our yummy cheeseburgers. And if you don't want a sandwich, we'll also be having sriracha chicken with a side of rice. And don't forget to grab a bowl of green beans on your way out of the line. That's it for lunch today. Back to you, Deja and Jalen. Thanks, ladies. That sounds good. So beginning tomorrow, advisories are getting started again. Advisory is a time for you to meet with a small group and do some activities related to your grade level. Please stop by the school store and or see your homeroom teacher to figure out what room number your advisory is in. Next, we got club news. There is a SAD meeting on Tuesday, September 11th at 7.30 a.m. in room 149A. Please see Jasmine Phillips with any questions. Here's Jordan to tell you a little bit more about SAD. As you all know, there are many clubs at Central Crossing you can join to get involved. One of the clubs we offer is SAD, which stands for Students Against Destructive Decisions and is a national club found all across the nation. SAD's vision is to empower young people to successfully confront the risks and pressures that challenge us throughout our daily lives. The topics focused on in this club are promoting healthy decisions, putting a stop to bullying, living a drug-free life, and being a positive role model. Activities we have done in the past are positive sticky notes around the school, traveling the whole crossing to talk about bullying, and much more. SAD is such a blast and is a great club to get involved with, and we hope to accomplish a lot this year. You can find Miss Burris, Miss Williams, or Jasmine Phillips with any questions or concerns. The first meeting is tomorrow in room 149A at 7.30 a.m. Hope to see you guys there. Thanks, Jordan. So plan to join up with SAD tomorrow morning at 7.30 in room 149A. Wednesday, Comet Crazies get together at 7.30 a.m. in room 225. Also this Wednesday, Photo Club meets at 3.30 in room 241. And getting started this Wednesday, the Literary Magazine and Writers Club will have its first meeting Wednesday in room 208, Mrs. White's room. If you are interested in creative writing, poetry, songwriting, drawing, and helping publish CTHS's literary magazine, please stop by to check us out. If you have questions, please see Mrs. White in room 208 or Mrs. Barnes in room 212A. One more thing going on this Wednesday, and that is Key Club. Here is Allie and Laura with more information. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Allie. And I'm Laura. And we have some details about Key Club. Key Club is not about keys. <laughs> no, it's not. Key Club is an international organization focusing on leadership and standing up for what's right through service and volunteer work. Students in this club have a lot of opportunities to volunteer and develop leadership skills. Last year, Key Club ran a canned food drive and collected more than 2,500 cans, feeding countless families in Grove City. They also worked with March of Dimes to help eliminate childhood disease. This looks great on any job application or college applications. It can also lead to scholarship opportunities. Key Club is a fun way to get involved at Central. Back to you, anchors. Thanks. So plan to get involved with Key Club this Wednesday after school in the foods room. And then on Thursday, Guitar Club meets at 3.30 in room 180. Friday, Gay Straight Alliance, or GSA, meets after school at 3.30 in room 264. This is a great place to get connected, so plan to check them out. Remember, freshmen, if you're interested in joining Student Council, see Mr. KV in room 109. And speaking of Student Council, all members of Student Council, please check your school email accounts. You will find a ballot sent from Mr. KV and Ms. Birds. You have until Monday, 9-17, to complete this ballot to vote for class officers. Thanks, and we are off to a great year. Now let's head over to the locker room and see what's going on. Good morning, Central. I'm Laymara. And I'm Tyshawn. And we have all your sporting news, and it's all good news. First up, we have some result, result news. Friday night, we continue our winning streak against Grove City freshmen, and JV both beat the Dogs. Congratulations, football team, an amazing weekend. Next, we have Jayana and Paul with conditioning news. Hey Central, I'm Paul. And I'm Jayana. And we have your conditioning news. We have a slight change in our wrestling open mat. Wrestlers will have conditioning slash weightlifting on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Open mats will now be on Wednesdays after weightlifting. 
There will no longer be any open mats on Thursday. See Coach Ramirez if you have any questions. Also, gymnastics is getting started. Open gyms run every Wednesday from 4 to 5.30 p.m. at Gotta Flip Gymnastics. Swim team conditioning is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 3.45 to 5. Meet outside the wrestling room and bring running shoes, water, and a towel. All are welcome. If you have questions, see Ms. Jacobs in room 260. Any boy interested in playing boys basketball this year should play in our intending workouts and open gyms starting this week. Open gyms will be Tuesdays from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Lifting slash conditioning will be 3.30 to 5 p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays. Please see Coach Homan with questions. Softball open fields for 9th through 12th graders will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays immediately after school from 3.30 to 5, beginning tomorrow. Please contact Coach Dorsey with questions or see Coach Householder in room 179 or Coach Chrisman in 237. Softball players, after your first open field tomorrow, you have a parent meeting at 515. Please plan to attend to discuss open fields, fundraising, workouts, and other requirements. And then, baseball open fields will be on Tuesday and Thursday after school from 3.30 to 5, also beginning tomorrow. This will take place on the varsity baseball field. If you have questions, see Coach Todd in room 296. Plus, we have strength and conditioning getting underway. Strength and conditioning is every Monday and Thursday from 345 to 545. Strength and conditioning is available for all students not currently involved in a fall sport. If you are looking to get in shape for a winter or spring sport or are just looking to get in better shape than you are, than you are right now, this is an opportunity to get started on a plan to set or achieve goals for yourself. If you have questions, please see Coach Reggie Cannon. This is a great low-key way to get started in sports program. So get involved, Central, and come out for conditioning with a team and our strength and conditioning with Coach Cannon. That's it for us. Back to you, Tayshawn and Lamara. Next, please plan to come out and give get involved in a sport. Now here's what's going on tonight. We have freshman girls volleyball playing at 5 p.m., JV girls varsity, at 6.30 and varsity girls volleyball at 8 p.m. They will be all playing at Bishop Hertley High School. Good luck, Lady Comets. That's it for today. Back to you, Deja and Jalen. And happy birthday, Deja. Thanks, Lamara and Tyshawn. And now, just a few more things before we go. Drivers, please remember your parking pass payment is due September 14th. If you still do not have a student ID, please go to the library. If you've already lost your ID, please go to the library. However, if, you, if you've lost your ID, you will need to pay $5 at the activities window first. The key, the key here, you need an ID, so please take care of this. Also, please make sure you move your cars today from the student lot by 3.30. This is the only place our marching band can practice, and they cannot practice around your car. That's it for today. Have a great Monday. See you tomorrow, Central.